Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to the Long Dark, where now we're looking for convicts in a side mission before we go and rescue one of our second of what seems to be three more people out there. After rescuing Gwen and Logan, we're now looking for other survivors, but it appears that there are prisoners somewhere out here that may have survived. And I'm going to check real quick to see what they've got, because last time it proved to be quite fruitful in finding a bunch of coal. I dropped off as much wood as I could, and I'm still finding more out here in the field. And then I'm going to bring some more stuff back. Really, the last couple of things that we need for our people to survive, I think I see a prisoner right there. Uh, the last couple of things that we might need is probably wood and antiseptic and whatnot. Damn, what the hell? Wait a minute. Now I'm starting to feel something. Molly's killing all these convicts. Was her husband a convict, maybe? Maybe he came back? Maybe that was his name? We don't even know what his name was, but we saw a document earlier. And perhaps the, uh, husband was a convict and when he broke out came back to see waifu or something? Oh, here we go. Uh, let's see. Something out here is hunting us. Don't see him coming. Thought we lost hacks. D lay down b uh, low by the road. Eyes open, fellas. We never get out of here. Okay. Energy bar. I feel it's Molly hunting all these guys. Well, obviously it is with the bow and arrow. Sure as hell ain't the pastor. Oh, looks like we better get out of light. No, not that light. Nope. There we go. Okay, is there anything valuable in here? Uh, well, at least there's a hiding spot here. Just in case we need to bed down for the night. But I've come out here without any sort of bedroll or anything this time around, so... Did I check the body? I think I did. Right, let's put that away. Yeah, nothing on the frozen corpse. I, I don't want the body. Is there anything... Any tattoos or anything? No. I don't want the arrow out of the body, so that's fine. Okay, looks like there's another body over here. Are you kidding me? All right, well, that's where that goes. Well, this is getting off track of going to our survivors, but it might really prove to be fruitful to do this, especially if I can find some sort of a... Well, if I follow the breadcrumbs, there might be a, a reward at the end, just like when I went to the Sasquatch thing to find the new coat. So let's see if we go this away. Well, actually, wait a minute. If I go down to the river, we can walk along the river to the bridge... Or, we can just go across it if, if it's frozen. Uh-oh. Get out those other ones just in case. The only thing I have to defend myself at the moment is a flare. And I know uh, we need to get our handgun from uh, the other location. Uh, the, d the Draft Dodger's house, I think, is where I left it. But again, the handguns aren't that great in terms of hunting. And uh, they're okay for defending myself. But what I really want is some more rifle rounds so I can actually... Uh, there's a waterfall here. Oh, wait a minute. That means I might not be able to get up, so we better go up this way. If I go across that river, there might not be a way back. Alright, well, luckily we got some good snacks and goodies with us. I may as well eat some of those now. We got a granola bar and a uh, zip bar. Energy bar. These are really bad quality, but it's better than nothing. Okay. Okay. Let's keep trucking. So our goal today then is to get to the end of this breadcrumb trail and either rescue or at least get to our second victim. Since we're going over to the west, I was going to rescue this person last, but it might be a good idea to go for them first. Although I don't have a bedroll, which I really should need, uh, really need to lay down and, and rest. Unless I find my way to a house. Though I don't think I can get back to Molly's. She'd probably lock the house like she normally does when she's not home or at home. She just might not let me back in. Ah, oh, something interesting over there. Is that a... That looks to be an incomplete structure, but there are... Oh, it's a little lake here. Alright. Fishing house might have some coal in it. For the stove. Oh, wait a minute. Walking out on lakes might not be a good idea. That looks just to be a little shelter there. I don't think that's an actual house. There's a way to look inside. Oh, that's weird. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Oh. Okay, some free fuel. Come on, 303 rounds. Okay. I'll take that. Anything out here is good. I'll probably never be coming back here, so you never know what we might need. 
And fishing tackle. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. Okay. I don't see anything around the stove, so... Oh, wait. Ah, we don't need that. Oh, but a bedroll. Well, imagine that. Okay, well, that solves that problem. All right, let's check up here, and then we'll uh, head back to the road, which is just on the other side. Then we'll go see if the prisoner's over there. It's kind of weird how it, like, we auto-know where the next prisoner is. Like, how am I supposed to find somebody in the woods who's been shot in the back? My bow and arrow. Must be Molly tracking them, then. There's nobody better in this, uh, who knows this area more than the people who live here. All right, a little granola bar. Okay, let's grab another one of those. Have a quick bite. Okay, we'll make our way to the bridge now. Huh. This area has an incredible amount of downed trees. Or uh, limbs, I guess. All right, road's clear. And I hear another waterfall nearby. Pretty. Oh. Well, would you look at that? All right, so we're about here. I think it's going to be up there where that cliff is. Right about there. Just before the road seems to turn to the left. Let's get up on the high ground and look out for any sort of landmarks. Huh. Let's see if I can take the left turn up here. Pass that one. Let's see if I can go up any higher. Get a little closer to the thing. Tipped over tree here. That looks cool. Okay, what do we have here? These prisoners must be pretty easy to track in the uh, snow. They're basically in just t-shirts and pants. And uh, so they're probably not going to get very far. And also, they're wearing orange, so just like in a hunting situation, it's pretty easy to see. And since these forests are made up of nothing but evergreen trees, most of the uh, foliage is at the top of the trees, so you can basically see them unless they're directly hiding behind one. Boy, if the uh, Canadian uh, Mounted Police came out here, they'd be able to find them pretty easy with a group of dogs. Or wolves. Maybe the dogs would get distracted by the wolves. All right, I see another tipped over tree over there. And it looks like this mountain goes all the way up to the top of what looks to be maybe a maybe a mining road there. Looks like it goes into a mountain or a scenic overview. All right, whoever we're looking for here should be nearby. Huh? I can hear a dog eating, I think. I thought I heard a wolf eating. Well, that's why we got the flare. Granola bar, hunter's blind. Damn, no rounds here. Just some stones. What the hell are you going to be shooting from up here? Oh. Well, that's a really small area to shoot. If you're standing here, you've got that much time to react to a deer. Anyway, let's find this guy. I think he's over here. It'd be nice if there was a compass in the game. Alright, let's go up here. Well, we did find revolver rounds in the first guy, so maybe one of these guys will end up having a 
finding a rifle or something like that. Hmm. Should be somebody around here somewhere. Huh. Maybe up there? Let's see. Gotta be around here somewhere. I'm assuming he's probably down. It could be up there. We're looking right over this direction. Hmm. There's a blind nearby, though, so that's kind of promising of maybe a cabin being nearby, too. Wow, look at it. It's getting a lot colder. Uh-oh. There's a dead deer there. That must be where I heard that wolf earlier. Ah, here we are. I'll check back on that wolf, uh, the deer later. Hilltop Cave. Search the abandoned camp. Convict cache... Uh, directions. Handwritten note to the direct. Use this stuff to push up and out of this place. No end to these hills, but we got no other way. That thing is still out there. Are More they being chased by like a Sasquatch? Find the supplies. No, no, no. Don't. Mm. Okay. Look for the hidden cache. Oh, wait. Rabbit cooked. Oh, good. That'll be easy. Uh, let's get our. Uh, not that. Okay, let's start this up and see what is in here. So it looks like these guys bailed. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Spot to hide in here for a while. Ah. Here we go. Ah, perfect. Ten extra rounds of revolt. Damn, twenty rounds? MRE, flares, and a septic. Perfect. We needed one more of those. Good. Very good. So we found some newspaper and a log and a small fire here. Well, it's getting colder out and it's almost nighttime, so we could sleep through this. Well, objective completed. 20 revolver rounds. Damn. Kind of want to go and find out what's at the top of the hill, but uh, let's... Uh, I guess we'll be forced to start a fire here and bunker down for the night. Hunker down, bunker... I, I like to say bunker down. Sounds like I'm... Building the fences. Although, uh, I don't need to sleep in this bed. Is there... Let's see. Uh, bed warmth bonus plus two. I wonder if having a bed roll would increase that. Let's see. I pop that on there. And select the bed roll. Oh, plus four. Very nice. Okay. Alright, let's um, do a little quick bitness right now. Let's go ahead and have ourselves a... Uh... Oh, I thought she'd turn this off. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and eat and drink again in the morning. Well, we'll probably eat in the morning, and then we'll be on our way. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, well, that was a good thing to follow, going that way. There's the exit to the cave. It's basically bedtime, so let's sleep for... Uh, oops, didn't mean to sleep for an hour. That's okay. All right, so all these convicts have basically GG'd and fleed from wherever they were. And I don't think there's any other locations they could be, right? Tall tales of a ghostly stag. There's that church artifact. Yeah, it looks like we did complete it. Two secondary objectives then. The uh, Sasquatch down there and then the following of the prisoners. Okay. So let's go ahead and sleep for another... Eh, let's do like a 10-hour nap. So that way we can wake up somewhere during the day. Or at least during the start of the day. Okay, let's see. Is it early morning now? Yes, it is. Well, it will be shortly. Okay, I'm assuming she's hungry. Let's go ahead and snack on that rabbit. Nice. We may as well eat everything we have. MRA would be good. Yeah, there we go. Max out that, that food. Perfect! All the way up. Nice. And let's drink some more water. Wow, five liters of water. I was basically getting a bunch of water from uh, 
Uh, what was I doing that I got a lot of water from? Oh, wow, we're actually cold in the cave. Oh, if we go out there, it's going to be worse. Anyway, I got a bunch of water from something. I can't remember. It was from, I think, just checking toilets and whatnot, just to kind of get that all boiled up. Plus, I think I made some extras for when we... Uh, wow, should I keep sleeping more? This, this is really cold out here. Let's just pass some time. Sorry you can't see, but we'll fix that in just a minute. Uh, if I go back into the cave, does it get any warmer? Huh. It would be nice if we could pass time in the bedroll. Here, let's pass some time and see what happens. Let's see what happens in an hour. Wow, it's... Well, now it's... Now it's bright out. Oh, this is annoying. Really? Alright, hold on. We'll get warmed up again. That's... That's surprising. Okay, let's, uh... Go ahead and make a fire here. And success chance is 95%, so let's go ahead and start a fire. Well, that's weird. So much for that plan. It's a damn fine day to go travel. And we are good. There we go. Oh, I don't, how much time? 17 minutes? I'm going to add a... Thing of uh, a couple of things of reclaim wood, and let's wait an hour. Man, it's still going on. What time is it now? Damn, it's going to be a wasted day. Now we could make it to Molly's barn and then get up there. Alright, well, we're going to have to keep waiting. Good thing we found this cave. Alright, let's wait for another... five hours. Still pretty windy. Damn, that's a waste of time. Still windy. Well, this is the longest I've had to sit in one spot just waiting for things to clear out. Yeah, this looks still pretty windy out there. Why am I carrying this lantern? <laughs> There we go. Now we have more MREs ready. Let me eat some crackers. Take another sip. Well, okay, well, good thing we had extra water. Let me uh, take a look out there and see how it is. need this now, I think. Oh, alright. Safe enough to travel. Alright, let's get moving. Well, that took forever. Good thing we had extra fuel on us. See, 0.8 kilograms worthless. Okay, so let's go north. I guess we could take the road unless there, uh, unless I got to go down. I don't know. All right, well we'll try to find our way back to that road. I think it's right here in front of us. It looks like a little ridge. Man, that was a big waste of time. What time of day is it now? It's probably pretty close to night now. Oh, uh, yeah, it's starting to go back towards that side again. Well, we're going to have to hunker down in Molly's barn, I think. This looks suspicious, though. The overturned tree I saw earlier. That's along the road. So what is that up here? 
Looks like the road cuts through the mountain right there. There's a passage between those rocks. I think it's just going to be a high altitude overlook, and I don't really want to go up high unless there's some sort of landmark. Especially when I get, get got to get down and across the farm field. Nothing useful here, okay. Well, there's got to be something up here. For there to be a road all the way up here, it's got to be... There must be a structure at the top. Maybe like a forest ranger's station or, uh, you know, maybe a small home or something. There's got to be a reason why they would build a house here. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a road. Aha! Uh -huh. That would be the reason. A radio tow? God, a bear. And I don't have a handgun or anything. It looks like he's on a patrol pattern here, too, so I don't think he's just going to conveniently leave the area. I'm going to have to go up here for some reason, I'm sure. And I'm going to need a lot of rifle rounds to take down a bear. I'm assuming regular bears unlike the one we fought previously, could probably be taken down by the rifle. But that big old bear we fought before could probably be, you know, that's only via the spear. Because I don't think there's a way to sneak past the bear. Although there is a way to lay decoys. Alright, well that explains that. So there's a bear at the top of the hill, but we know where a radio tower is. So if uh, the father ever asks us to get communication devices or something like a radio or a transmitter or something we can definitely go there careful now girl careful she's gonna sprain something here it's this is very steep ah, we made it okay now let's see so we got to go to Molly's barn, I think, for shelter. And then let's go grab that guy. So there's a reason to go back near Molly's. I'm sure I left some materials there at the barn. Of course, the barn is exactly where we, uh, there was just that dead wolf in there, so there's really not a reason to go there. If there's any supplies, it's probably pretty useless. So the prisoners... So on the other side of this hill, that's Milton then. So the prisoners must have gotten through here somewhere. So I think this must be where Molly found us out on the road. And she... In that cutscene, there was like... She had a rifle... I wonder if we should go down that way. I think I see the... Yeah, the cave must be right here. Next to the river. Might be a reason to go down there. Let's check. The weather's decent, and if I have to wait out the night, I'll do it in the barn. At least it'll be uh, warmer with the clothing and the... We don't necessarily need a fire. I can make it through the night with just the uh, building for shelter. And then the... Uh, oh, here we go. Building for shelter, and then uh, back the uh, bedroll should do it. What's up here? Aha, that's great. A rifle cartridge. Two of them. Perfect. Well, we're back in business for shooting the bear. Let's check the uh, passenger side. Oh, my God, right there. Hello, Perfect. beautiful. Ha-ha! <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. Now I have a rifle again. Two rifles. That's great. Okay, well that's good. I can be trusted with a rifle, just not a handgun. Let me check for any more rounds. Alright, that's good. 37%, we should be able to fire four or five rounds before this thing gives out, but I can always clean it. But what I'll probably end up doing is just switching to the other rifle when we get back. Just maintain one rifle. So if we go back where we came from... Man, how the hell did she get through here? Alright, well, this is where the cave-in took place. 
But it doesn't even look like a tunnel ever existed here. Is there a cave or anything here? Okay. Yeah, this seems kind of fruitless now. Well, it wasn't because I found two uh, rifle rounds and a uh, rifle. So now if we get attacked by wolves out in the open at Molly's farm, we'll be okay. Just got to pop one of them. So we can survive two encounters if we're good enough with our shots. So I'm going to make my way down the ice and... If it happens to start cracking, I'm going to jump over here. Okay, let's make our way down river. One car with a couple of rifle rounds. How weird. Somebody abandoned their car, rifle, and a couple of things of ammunition. They must have been out of there in a hurry. find another hunter blind that'd be great the thing about rivers is that a lot of the times hunters blinds could be near them because it's a water source and an area for crossing of animals and sometimes they're forced to go to choke points to get to where they want to go Don't have to go too much further to get to the uh, other survivor. All right, I think we should be able to get to that survivor and then get to the barn. Wolves know that there's animals that cross here too, so they could be down here as well. Okay, well, must take a that takes a lot of. Uh, low temperatures to freeze a river. A river is a moving body of water. It's easier for a lake. It doesn't move as much. Alright, rifles reloaded. Is that a structure up there? That looks a little out of place right there. Is that a fence? What is that? Man, I'm going to have to figure out a way to... Hold on. Hopefully it's AI pathing is too dumb to follow me. Just about to say, hopefully I can find a way to deal with that bear. Well, looks like another one found us. Molly was worried about uh, wolves, and we're worried about bears now. Okay. The bear scare is over. We're okay. All right, let's go over this way. It'll be on this side of the cliff, I think. Then we'll use our signal flare. Hell out of town with that bear. Must be something valuable over there, though, if there's a bear there. That's our third bear that we've seen now. So there's one at the river... One to the cliff, and then there's another one over here by the other cave. So that must have been where the prison bus was trying to go, is passing through town. Is this a roadway? Yeah, this is a road here. Interesting. Yeah, this definitely definitely a road. Maybe that's what that was back there, was... Uh, What do they call it? Uh, like, um... Well, actually, this looks to be to prevent landslides and things. But 
But uh, guardrail is what I was thinking about. But no, that's not really a guardrail there. All right, so we're kind of on Molly's property now. That's the barn, right? No, that's the barn out there. That's the farmhouse. Yep. Hmm. I wonder if I can climb that tree to get up there. I uh, probably would fall off or something. Okay, how close are we to our person now? Well, I'll get a little closer to center and then see if I can light up a flare. Okay, this is pretty close. Let's use our flare gun. Fire in the hole. And let's see their shot. There they are. All right, let's head in. Well, pretty easy to find people. Very cool that there's a use for the flare guns in this game other than uh, just shooting at wolves and trying to scare animals and stuff away. Really cool that you can actually use it to find survivors. I've never used a flare gun before. I, f I feel like I want one in my car. But I definitely should get road flares. That's one thing I don't have. What would you recommend for uh, roadside safety, by the way? Are flares, those pop-up... Uh, Little uh, triangles that show people danger. Maybe some uh, water f purification. Who knows? Easy. Hi there. Oh, oh, this isn't good. Weight at 48%. All right. More fl flares for you. Thank you, Wade. Looks like you got a bandage. Anything else? All right. Let's make a diagnosis. Probably water. Hmm. I'll see if I can My God. Diagnosis murder. Oh, just dehydration again. Feeling better now? There you go, sir. Okay, we're gonna have to avoid some bears, so uh, you know, be careful of that. I think I called him Logan before. Did I call him Wade or Logan? Right. Well, anyway, Logan, you're coming with me. His I name's Wade, but we're gonna call him Logan. <laughs> All right. So now we know. I remember that Molly's barn has a bed in it. Hold like on. I can drop him in the just hay, and then she uh, can probably lay down next to the bedroll. So that way we should be able to get some rest there and then make our way over to the town hall. Then once we're at the town hall, probably stack up on some more needed supplies. We got the antiseptic done. I got an extra thing antiseptic, so that's good. And then we can uh, dump off the antiseptic and also firewood. And then I think we're, the only other problem will be food. So luckily I've got some rifle rounds remaining. So that'll be more than enough to uh, keep us safe from, uh, well, I mean, starvation if I can... Uh oh. Oh boy. Wait, honey. There's wolves coming. You stay by this tree. I'll be back in a second. Mama's got a score to settle with some punks from the local community center. There you are, uglies. Hi there. Let there be light! What's up, homies? What's up? You guys hate that, don't you? No, 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 no. You guys are afraid of this. Get out of here. What's up? That's right. I thought you were afraid of that, huh? Scary, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, scary shiny. Yeah, that's right, little turd. Rip my clothes. This stuff was on sale. All right, wait. Come on, we're going. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, we got to get out of here. All right, well, that was more effective than I thought it would be. Should have shot one of them, but I got two rounds. If they come back, I'm going for the big the big boom. All right, Molly's house is in front of us, but I'm assuming it's locked because she, whenever she'd come home when we were sleeping there, she'd, like, lock the doors. So whether she's inside or not, she's probably got that thing locked down uh, like a... Uh, uh, like... Uh, like Dorothy's uh, cellar. No, she got sucked up into that tornado. Well, it's locked down like something. What the hell was that noise? 
Did we? Did one of my tires just blow out? <laughs> what the hell? Did my, what was that? That noise was like the flare going out, but we were nowhere near it. That was weird. Hey Molly, hope you don't mind. I'm looking around your stuff. Oh, nice coal. Oh, come on now. I gotta set you down, Wade. Logan. I've got you. Well, well Logan, I gotta put you down. There's some coal here, and the kids at the community center love it. They love it when I put it in their stockings. Ah, uh, let's see. Before I bring you back, sir, let me just look around Molly's for stuff. Pallet there. There's the door to the cellar. Is this just a rock, probably? Yeah. I don't want to go back in there. Oh, I can hear those dudes coming back. Are you kidding? They're coming again? Oh, you guys are pissed. How'd you guys track me down? What are you guys, the police? I got warrants. There we go. Wait, honey, wait there. I gotta pick up a, uh, a wolf carcass now. Oh, good. The kitties love this. Oh, they love wolf meat. Let's use the knife. That's a pleasant sound with no eeriness at all. Good. Well, I guess the rifle came in use. Come on, Wade. Let's go to the barn. You're my boyfriend now. You kinda cute, we gonna go to the barn. We gonna dance and you gonna tell me stories. Wasn't that a movie, by the way, where that one guy got in a car accident and uh, that lady, uh, oh, oh, don't tell me there's wolves over there. No, okay, it looks like it's all right. Uh, there was a guy who got in a car accident, and then there was... It was a Stephen King novel. You guys know what I'm talking about? Much farther now. There was a guy who got in a car accident, and uh, this crazy lady loved his books, and... Gently like, now. As soon as he was getting better, she took, like, a sledgehammer to his leg, so that way he'd write more books. Something like that. Was, I think it was Easy called, uh... The Guy Who Couldn't Stop Writing Books. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, uh, nothing there. So I guess we'll just head to the barn where there's nothing there either. Unless, for what, whatever reason, maybe Molly put some stuff in there. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to put Wade Logan down in the... Uh, oh, God, I see a wolf up over there. You see him? If you look really closely, you can see him there. You see him in the trees? I'm kind of looking right at him right now. I had enough of those guys. I didn't get in too bad of a fight with those we guys. They ripped my clothing, that's for sure, but I can repair that. Oh, there's a car there, too. Can I use this for anything? Alright. Well, Wade, you should be fine. I'm just going to get you inside. You'll be nice and warm. And maybe this will give me a chance to look around a little bit more outside since there aren't any wolves nearby. Although they are over there. Hang on. I have you. Yeah, hold on, bro. We'll be okay. If there's any timber wolves, I wonder where they're gonna attack from. Uh, you know we're gonna have to use fuel to get started here, so let me uh set you down, sir. Don't fall asleep. Oh, I might need to Stay uh with me. Oh damn, I need fire to last through the night. Well, worst case scenario, if we need to uh, use some of our fuel here, we can always gather more for the community center. We're not too far off from that goal. It's okay. It's okay. Wolves are really weird in this game. Like, sometimes they just kind of like... You know, they get real ballsy and attack you, and then once their attack warmth. fails... Oh my god. Yeah, warmth, yeah. It's warm in here, bro. Ah, there you go. Set you down in there. There you Easy. go. Oh, we probably won't need to warm up the fire barrel at all. all right, let me make sure I didn't miss anything while we were here last time or that I left anything. That's broken. Let's see. Don't need metal parts for anything, I think. I'd like to get up there in the barn, but I can't. Must be a reason to get up there at some point. All right, well, this is where it all kind of started for us. Ooh, wheels. Oh, we can break this down for uh, extra reclaimed wood. That's not worth carrying it that far, to be honest. Okay, well, let's lay down next to Wade. And let's see what we can do. How do we even know his name? 
There we go. Okay, uh, let's see. We're about half, half, and half on everything. Let me... Wait, how are you doing with... Oh, I could actually cook that stuff, couldn't I? That meat. Hmm. Well, we get an unlimited food source, though, over at the... Uh, it's, only, it's already at 93%. Oh, damn. If I sleep, it's going to be... Uh, I think it'll last longer if I cook it. But I'd like to save it for the town hall. But screw it. Let's just cook it now so we don't miss out on stuff. Okay, let's use some accelerant. we got to do a little cooking. Well, maybe it will be worth... Oh, I should have broke that down ahead of time. Wait, there's some reclaimed wood around here, isn't there, somewhere? What else do I have for fuel? Oh, I, I have one thing of coal. Let's add that then. There we go. And screw it. Spun. Dump a bunch of stuff in there. There we go. Alright, let's add the meat. Now this is perfect. No cooking pot should use be used here. And this is perfect. These two wolf meat like that? That's awesome. Okay, 20 minutes. Good. Good. Gives me another two hours to cook all the meat. Way to get some rest. Okay, let's cook some more. Okay, so we got about two hours of fuel left. I'll get you some water later, Wade. Where's our bed? There it is. Okay, let's wait till this is ready. Wow, we had a lot of meat from that wolf like that. Hour and one minute. We got an hour and 22, so this probably will be the last amount that I can cook. Unless there's something else in here, but I really can't see, so. And we're out of fuel. Oh, sounds like a big storm out there. Oh, whoa. what did that say? Wouldn't that say insufficient space, or was it burned? Ah, oh, maybe it got burned. Okay, well, 16 minutes left. That's pretty much it. What do we have for meat left? Two more that I can make? Good. I think one of them got burned, but that's fine. How many calories is that? Oh, that's 1,600 plus another... Cook to eat safely. Yeah, I could probably cook that at the... Uh the thing. Oh, plus the MRE, which gives another set, what is it, 1,700? Oh, 600 calories. Nice. That should be enough for the calories. Alright, let's take a little nap. I'll try to wait it out for the night. Let's go for a 10 hour. Wait a minute. Before we go, wait, I'm gonna give you water. Let's see what's wrong here. Feeling there better now? And then let's get some shut -eye. Probably wait another 10 hours. Let's do that. Hopefully Wade's okay. Yay! Hi, Wade. Wade's feeling pretty good, 100%. Good. A little bit of water. Feeling better now? Good, he's at 100%, that's great. Get water for ourselves. Looks like it's really windy out there, but we gotta go. The longer we wait, the worse it's gonna get. So I'm burning through food like crazy. Alright, let's see. I really don't want to eat any of the meat. Don't I have other things? Let's see what else we have. Oh, yeah. Eat that. And, uh, maybe a soda. Just to top us off of the journey. Right, let's pick this up. Grab ourselves some... A little bit of wade. There we go. Is there a back door out of this place? No. Alright. Well, that's it for today's episode, everyone. Join me next time for the trek back to the uh, community center. 
and then eventually uh, bring you back survivor number three. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.